it still. So what I've done is I've actually uh, disconnected from the tug and brought our command module and lander down to about a 250 uh, kilometer orbit as you can see. Um, and I've already set it up where I have Jeb and Bill in the lander. They're going to be our first uh, Kerbos to land on on uh, on Duna here. And I still have the uh, the Camly, Thormor, and Ribman in the uh, command module. And uh, Bill is freaking the hell out because I think he knows what's coming. So we'll go ahead and add a maneuver here. And bring it down. Um, I, I don't really know. Maybe be right here would be a good idea. Um, I know it's going to rotate probably. So what I'm going to do is go ahead, control from here, and undock. Um, turn RCS on, and thrust away just a hair. Get us separated. There we go. All right. So, all right. Yep. Got to reset our maneuver. Just somewhere on the light side is where what I want. So. This thing handles very well. Nice. Alright. Just make sure I'm not going to hit it. Alright, I shouldn't. Um, let's just let it calculate real quick. Mm. All right, so I need to activate these engines. Should have set up an action group for it. All right, all but one. That's the one that we're gonna keep. All right, so nineteen seconds. All right, that's what I needed to know. There's a control pod. All right. And now that I messed up this, I need to get rid of this one and put a new one in. Alright, 29 seconds. That'll work. So about 15 seconds out is when I need to burn. Oh, I should have refueled my monopropellant. That's all right. Here we go. We should have plenty of fuel. And all right. Probably gonna land somewhere in the dark part, which I'm okay with. All 
Alright, so let's fast forward a little bit. Alright, so let's go ahead and kill some of our momentum. I don't think I brought enough fuel. Hmm. This doesn't bode well. What I can do is just use this main engine. Um, it's not a problem. Alright, let's just uh, learn the limitations of that. I figured that would be a little bit more efficient, but that's alright. Alright, our altimeter, huh? Running dangerously low on fuel. I don't know if these guys will be able to get back. I'm cutting it very close in fuel. No! Land, 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 land. Ah, that was, that was scary. But we have done it. We are now on the surface of Duna. That is awesome. Alright, so. Alright Jeb, you ready for your big moment? Alright Jeb, welcome to your new home. Go ahead and get Bill out. And he just flops. That's alright.
Alright, so we have not a lot of fuel at all left, so definitely this is going to be a permanent uh, feature on the surface, from what I'm guessing. So let's go ahead and get these guys back in. All right, so yeah, not a lot of fuel. This is definitely not taking off in this current state. All right, so I have a couple of things to decide on doing. Do do I want to continue work on the space station? Because mm, I have a couple of, couple of things I could do. Um, I could actually. Let's get this in a north-south orient orientation. Um, I could use this um, to start my space station and dock things on this. Um, so I got plenty of fuel, a little low in monopropellant, propellant, but this thing's got plenty of fuel, so I can rendezvous and stuff with this on um, if need be. Um, or I could use the tug which has nobody on it at all and a little bit of fuel yeah I can't even can't even close the shield so um, what I'm thinking is we're gonna use the control pod um, it's going to be our, our satellite our space station Let's go ahead and make a station. There we go. And we'll just go ahead and mark this one as debris. Actually, I can't. Alrighty, so. So rename it. It is a lander. Actually, we're going to make it a base. Uh, yeah. Duna one. Until I can think of a better name. All right. So now I need to work on a space station. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll, pro I'll come back to you it whenever I get this done and uh, let you know, give you the little All right, guys. So, this is what we have. Um, it might be a little big, but we're going to go ahead and try to get this up. Um, all this pretty much is is our habitation module. Um, it doesn't have anything other than a little bit of RCS fuel um, and a bunch of these um, uh, cans, what are they called? Um, hitchhiker storage containers. Um, each one of them I think can hold four. Uh, yeah, four Kerbals, so we got enough for uh, 20 Kerbals plus the, the little tuna can lander thing, so 22 Kerbals. Um, uh, just for a test run, what I think we're going to do is just try to get it into orbit around. Um, Kerbin itself, that's why I didn't build a huge launch motor. Um, just our, our basic thing with this attached to it. So, if this can get it into orbit around Kerbin, then we can uh, launch the tug module, um, connect it, and get it up and uh, over to Duna with the tug. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, try that right now. All right, so here we go. Oh, I think it's very top heavy. 
This, this bailed out pretty good. It uh, started off a little crazy, but hmm, I think we just might have it. These things are going to get real crazy whenever we detach these second stages with these uh, supports on the side, so we'll see. We'll shoot for, I think, about 250 or so. Alright, so let's hope this is enough fuel to get us into a, a orbit. Alright, so I'm going to call that good. Um, my proof of concept works, so this thing can get into orbit. Alright, so that's that's beautiful. So, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and call that good for now. Uh, we know that this thing can get into orbit, so from here we're going to need to uh, go ahead and uh, get another one up into orbit and then connect a tug uh, module to it. Um, Go ahead and get it over to Duna, above Duna atmosphere, or uh, Duna orbit. So, I'm going to call this episode good. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Um, stay tuned, and there'll be more to come.